and Rachel, and we're here at the Chili Cook-Off, um, and it is January the 22nd, 2011. We're here with all the different kinds of chili come and rate them um, depending how much, how good you think they are. And what's your favorite so far? Um, I haven't, I've only had one chili, so I'm not really sure which one I should get next. Do you have some money you're going to be giving? Yes, I have five dollars. Oh, okay. Let me see. Five dollars. Got your money. Yes. Tell me that about so good. the New Mexico green chili. Well, green chili is the same as red chili, except it's before it's right. And it grows real well in New Mexico, particularly northern New Mexico, like Taos, a little town called Chimayo that makes the best green chili in the world. And green chili, you take that and a little bit of pork and a little bit of onion and garlic, a little bit of oregano and some potatoes, and you'll be happy. All right, and how is it that you are a New Mexico green chili connoisseur? Because I've eaten a lot of it. We spent a lot of time in northern New Mexico and Santa Fe and Taos and Asia Fire and all over. I spent some time out in Gallup a, few, uh, a couple of years ago and had a ball. It's a great state. You ought to visit it more. All right. All right, so tell us about the best all-around chili. Well, you know, you try to influence the crowds with your sign <laughs> and your fixings, but the real deal is actually good. Um, you don't have to know that it's our first time to make this recipe, but um, we looked up best. And oh, you actually, looked up on the internet, too? <laughs> really? Because yeah, we just had the typical, that, you know, wasn't that exciting. And so I think some key ingredients that were different were cocoa. Beer. Beer, as Jeff came for. Then um, you just got your ground beef. We had a nice helper and sausage. You were a good helper in the kitchen. And sausage too. Um, yeah, just a little bit of ground pork and okay. sausage. Um, <laughs> some white yeah, beans and then some red beans. And okay. well, presentation-wise, it's very, very nice good. too. So I think you're getting extra points for that. New crock pot today. <laughs> wow. So tell me about your favorites tonight. What? Why did? You, which one was your favorite and why? First one. And why was is this it? Yes. And why did why was it the best? Because to me it was really really good. <laughs> All right. It was called plain old chili with beef. All right. And what was your favorite? My favorite was white chicken, and it had cheese and chips and it had peppers in it. White I mean white beans and stuff. Did you try the great white? Yeah, I didn't. You didn't? Oh, okay. What did you think of the great white? It was really different. Yeah. Turkey, hominy. All right. Well, tell us a little bit about what's going on tonight. We are having a fundraiser for Kids Ministry, and we have tons of different kinds of chili, and you vote for your favorite chili by giving donations to the chili that you like the most. All right. Well, you may have the only vegetarian chili, so uh, tell us about uh, your special recipe. It, okay, I took about five different recipes, and it has cocoa and beer and maple syrup, pure maple syrup, and every other kind of spice and vegetables. And All right. I had never heard of beer and chili, and this is the yeah. third one I've heard that has got beer. Yeah. So a little common denominator there tonight in our recipes. We're going to hear about lightning hot delicious. Tell us about yours. Lightning hot delicious chili. We have a few secret ingredients here. Different types of peppers. We use one chipotle, a couple of Anaheim chilies, a uh, poblano chili, a couple of roasted chilies that I got at the Edmund Farmer's Market. Uh, we also use a combination of beef broth and uh, masa to make a slurry to thicken it. And we use some 50% cocoa chocolate in it. Really? So and it's one got a little Schneiderbach beer. Okay. Well, I think I'm going to have to give this a try. So tell us about the great white chili. Great white chili is a chicken, a chicken chunks that are sprinkled with cumin, and um, also ground turkey seasoned with cumin and salt and pepper too. And it's got um, it's got hominy in it, which is the thing the thing that sets it apart from other white chilies. It's oh. makes it a little bit more like a Mexican pozole. No. I think it's magical. So, has the Great White been entered in contests before? Is this if no, you brought it out in the public? No, this is the first time. Yeah, okay. it's been, it's been uh, served a lot before. It's the standard like what I take to people when they have a baby and stuff. Okay, very <laughs> so good. Everybody always wants the recipe, so I thought 
All right, so what is special about the New Mexico Red? We've tried the New Mexico Green. The New Mexico Red has real New Mexico Red chili powder. It has uh, adobe chilies, and it has uh, uh, real Mexican oregano in it. So it's a very, very balanced chili. All right, very good. And what kind of meat do you uh, do you go with? This is a, just regular old chili beef. Chili, chili beef? Chili beef. Okay, no sausage or no pork sausage or anything like that. And what was your favorite tonight? I like the best chili in the world. You did? Do you know who cooked that one? Mm -hmm. Who cooked it? Uh, your wife. <laughs> That's right.